Hey guys, Nova Bush here, and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about how to build a team for this game. So, if you saw my last video, I was just showing you how the game kind of plays. Um, and I have every character unlocked with pretty much every single um, version of the character unlocked. Um, there's a lot, basically. What I will say is that it's important to really understand how the mechanics in this game work and what team works well with each other. Um, the further you go into the game, the more you complete the game, you will unlock more characters um, and you can actually buy some characters as well, which is quite fantastic. So first we're going to start with the roles. So like I said in my previous video, I kind of split them into a couple roles. So we got things like off tanks, which is things like um, uh, Wing or her brother Devion, they're like off tanks I would say. Devion's a better tank but he's also got a lot of DPS. Rin does a lot of armor damage, but she also has a bit of, you know, damage as well. Her tank isn't as great, but, you know, she can tank if, if need to be. Then you got supports, like this guy, um, is Eric, what his name is. And then we got her as well, Ugh, having so many versions, uh, Saya, yeah, Senya. They're both supports, um, in different ways, like Zerok, he gives a lot of shield, which is very important. And he can also boost damage, um, he can also... He does AoE, and if you could give him something that can AoE debuff, that's fantastic as well. And he gives AoE shield, like a lot of shield. Now, when it comes to Sinya, I actually think Sinya is probably the worst hero in this whole game. I do not recommend taking her. Um, definitely not when you start, like, if you're just trying to unlock stuff, then sure, you know, take her. I've unlocked all that stuff because, you know, I, I need to do it eventually just to see what, if she, if she gets good. She doesn't get good. The only way, the only way I'd bring her my team is if, you know, I'm on second level or third level and I'm like, you know what, I need a support and she's the only one available, I'll take her, but I will never start a run with her. Um, she has some good abilities though, to be honest. Um, she can speed everyone up, she can give someone a free action uh, once per match. Um, she can give shield, she can also give defense and strength, more damage. Which is good, I guess, but the thing is, she's just so weak and her shield doesn't really scale very well um, compared to some of the other heroes that give support. Which is a shame. So she's like in the bottom of my list. Then you got things like disruptors. Now those are things like Nodo. Um, you got um, Bentley. Um, who else is a disruptor? Would I say? You got this girl here. I think her original name is yeah Sia Sidia. Um, they're like disruptors. And what I mean by disruptors, they like try to push the enemy, stop them from using their moves, push them to break them, and stun them, and so on. Um, so he like. You can see Nodo here, he's got a 45 second, a 15 second, even down here, he's got an AoE 30 second, Bentley, he's got a 45 second, a 25 second, and Bentley's also got very heavy armor stuff, heavy armor, and Bentley also has damage as well, so he's, he's good. And then you've got Syndra, but she has, she can hit the back line, she can disrupt, she can AoE stun, she has some support, she's like an overround uh, jack of all trades, but she is like very good at doing pretty much everything overall she's very good at everything pretty much um i wouldn't take too much stock into the a and b ratings i mean because if you look at that then you would think you know um, divion is the best one of the best characters in the game um you think she's good but she isn't that good like it depends on how you build them or what you get like uh we got here we got um gina not gina sorry um Mariada. i'm so bad with names she's fantastic but depending on how you build her, like she's got a lot of Ds, but her her tankiness, there's no tanky rating. Like her ability to stay alive and to support is fantastic. It can be really good if you give, give her the right stuff. Um, so uh, then we got tanks, right? So tanks, like pure tanks. You got Meridia, and then we also got this girl here called Aya. The, those two are probably the, the biggest tanks in the game. Um, of course, I said I said off tanks. And then you got support tanks, I suppose. So you got this girl here. I do not like her at all. I think she's bottom tier. The, the, her only saving grace is her ability. Um, we should talk about yeah, um, Revian. Yeah. She has ability called Stronghold, which decreases. So basically, everyone's immune to damage in a round. And then she defense blocks. And she gets 40% defense. And uh, what's it called? Guard uh, defense. And it's not once per, t once per game. So you can use as many times as you want in a match. Which is fantastic, definitely if you can get Fury often. But apart from that, like a lot of abilities kind of suck. 
um they're just like really slow don't do anything um and then she has some some elemental elements that she can just apply to the enemy but they don't her damage is mi a minuscule her disruption is minuscule the only saving grace is that she has stronghold that, that's literally it that's why I, I hate her design it's only stronghold that's the only thing she has also she has no shield so she has hp and she he heals hp every battle so she can be a good tank but still it's like ugh, you know i think there's better things out there um and then you got you know destroyers people who deal damage heavy damage you got things like um gene you got things like uh, zin you know these are uh, talk the very big heavy damage guys glass cannon look at him 110 hp 15 shield 100 foot well this guy's a bit more tanky but like, they do just do heavy damage on the back line on the front line you know uh, talk is really good at just damaging through a shield damaging through armor while Jean's just straight up damage, you know, some support as well. It's fantastic. Or even, um, what's her name? Alonia. She's like big damage as well. She's a big damage dealer. Um, in fact, yeah, yeah, 100% big damage dealer. Um, another off tank that I didn't actually talk about is Pox. Pox is another off tank. He doesn't have any like taunt or anything like that. But he has supportive and tanky. He can be on the front line basically. And he can do damage. He's much like a damage dealer frontliner so he's not like initially a tank he doesn't actually have any taunts but he has a lot of damage and he has ways to he has enough hp to be at the front basically and then we got uh, my boy um eva now this guy is really strong uh, yeah he can be really strong once you give him the right stuff because he can he can allow the team to gain so much fury and he but he also uses fury in some of his supercharged attacks so he can do more damage and i would say he kind of fits the um yeah they call him a hybrid of support and damage i'll say yeah he's a hybrid of support and damage and also he's a disruptor because once you supercharge his disrupting skills you can stack up 50 percent longer so this one goes from 20 to like 30 seconds instead it's fantastic and then if you put some more stuff it can go to like it can go wild um i think that's pretty much everyone we went through everyone so so we pretty much talked about every single um character here um and now let's talk about things i would actually do so i would ideally if you're starting a game you're trying to get for the game first i would take one tank so i mean once you start the game you only get these three and that's fine these three are good these three are strong you got a tank you got off tank you got support and you got nodo which is a disruptor um you don't really have too much damage but you got off tank and a disruptor who can do damage so that works definitely two that i would recommend i mean just to, this is a good team it's a good team once you start to get more tank more guys i would say get a tank get a disruptor and get someone who can deal damage supports are great but supports aren't necessary straight away the, I, the, the best thing in this game is to destroy them before they show you if you saw my sample video last episode i tried to just destroy them before they showed me make sure that they don't get past my shield i got to the i went through the whole first level in the fourth difficulty without you know anyone dying anyone pretty much getting hit at all um because your shield regenerates every battle so as long as they don't touch a shield you can just disrupt them you can destroy them great um these destroyers definitely need someone who can disrupt like either bentley or nodo uh, because they have long long um wait times like um, his killer strike look at that if you see at the next to killer strike to the right you see that circle that's almost full basically that's how long it takes to use it and if you use his snipe mode which increases his damage by i think let me see uh 25 percent that and it, but it makes things 20 seconds slower that's like the full bar so you need you definitely need to chop and otherwise he's not doing any damage um yeah i recommend that if you do want some support you could bring someone you can you can if you want some a bit more slow i mean slow pace can be fine but if you're fighting bosses with loads of aov and it can really like slow you down it's going to be quite difficult but you can pick a tank you can pick someone like zingrek and he can just be supporting the tank can lure and then you can have um someone who can also i guess do damage but the supports can't really damage so it's, that can be quite difficult the good thing about uh things like an um, aya she has ways to disrupt like her punch does 30 percent disruption uh, unleashed does 20 percent but it's a stun is this a stun no it just does 20 percent which is pretty good um or uh, this girl who when she throws shield late one she can do 35 percent disruption it's light so it actually comes out quite fast and you can hit 
the back row as well, which you'll not, which you'll see later on. So you know, all of that you need to take into consideration. Definitely you need to take, take into consideration because it's very important on knowing who you want to take in the battle. If if you've unlocked like a lot of these people and you want to say, okay, how am I gonna? I'm still I've unlocked a lot of characters, but I'm stuck struggling on high difficulties. I would recommend taking Divion, taking Nodo, taking June. These guys will rip pretty much through everything um, because um, Divion has um, a Ripper Sit, which I'm saying 100% I'm saying that wrong, but he can lure people to him and then he will counter um, the attacks. But you need to be level 4 to get that, but that allows him to really like just take all the aggro. Um, you can also um, still shield as well, which is pretty good. Not as good in the early game, but the, the harder difficulties is really good. So he can keep himself he healthy. And yeah, he, he just has a lot of damage. Um, you know, in order to disrupts and stuns, Gene stuns and does loads of damage. So you just have two damage dealers, really big damage dealers, two disru one disruptor, two stuns. Like, this is fantastic. And a tank, off tank. Like, you shouldn't have pretty much any difficulties with this team. Like, you should be able to run through the whole game. Uh, and then um, on each level pick up you know get support if, you, if possible and then probably get someone who can also be on the front lines as well having two on the front lines is perfect so maybe sister maybe um we've got the ages here or maybe yeah maybe uh, ayo you know or even um this guy zerx cool now that is pretty much it for this video we've gone through the whole board of who to bring <sighs> Oh, a bit tired now, but uh, I guess one half of thing I could say is just make sure you also think about There's also combos as well Think about what combos work together, but you know, that's the thing you'll figure out the more you play the game or what combos work So maybe you want to go for a, a certain team for combos like Davion and um, Bentley here have a really good AOE combo. So maybe you want to pair them up together. Who knows? Um, and then also perks what perks work well with each other and stuff like that Cool guys, that yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.